today we are going to start discussion on credit service and borrower selection and in this chapter uh, we have one student task that is annual report review so i will talk about student task later and it will be based on uh, credit operational manual and in this chapter if you study if you if you see the content then you will find the chapter uh, focuses on customer relationship management customer relationship you know that now it is financial institutions are much more concerned about their customers much more concerned about services so that's why customer relations has become one of the most important task of a credit manager and that's why i have mentioned in my last class that in this class i will focus a lot on customer relations and there are some other contents we will cover all the contents within our time limit so we are we have selected two classes for this chapter and also third classes for annual report review for a student task so customer relationship uh, what's really happening suppose uh, customers are expecting 10 and reality is one so you see that what's going on customers expectations are not met it's just like a uh, teacher expects that a student uh, will at least say thank you after getting course materials and out of 30 students not a single student express thank you or acknowledge noted sir nothing so you see that expectation was 10 but reality is zero so now how to tackle the situation to tackle this kind of situation financial institutions are very sensitive place that deal with money and so many financial institutions and that's why huge competitions so now see when there is huge competitions then the customer expectations obviously enhanced a lot and financial institutions must understand all those customers demand requirement necessity taste preferences and if financial institution officers can understand decision makers can understand all this only then they can deliver the real services and their customers will be happy so remember the word it's wrong foot wrong foot means once you step wrong the result will be wrong so before you start your journey before you start delivering your services you must recognize the customers preferences customers choices customers needs and necessity without understanding all these if you start to deliver services we can say that will be a wrong foot so what's the basics behind good customer relationship because you are going to be a credit manager you are going to be a bank manager you are going to be a leader of the organization 
after 10, 15 years, you will be CEO of an organization or you will be the chairman of your own organization. So you must understand the importance of good customer relationship. And in the financial sector, basically we are not selling chair, table, furniture, or cement or sugar. So we are not selling like, like this. We are not selling uh, this kind of products. We are selling financial products. So you see that our products are different. So the success of our business, the success of our management totally depend on good customer relationship. So in order to build good customer relationship, for better services, you need to do something. What is this? It's a, it's a very cream points. It, it's really very important points. The first one is customize your approach with warm greetings, depending upon the scenario. So you see that you have to understand the environment. So you should not handle each and every customer's with the same marks, with the same signs. You have got training, you attended training program or workshop and seminar, and then some trainers, speakers like Tanvi sir provided some tips to you. So now you think that, oh my God, I'm really good. So can you focus only those to each and every customers? Your customers are maybe farmers. Your customers are maybe levelers. Your customers are maybe doctors, engineers, teachers, journalists. So can you deliver same services to each and every customer? No, sir. So you see that that's why the first is customize your approach. Our farmers, they're so soft, they're so kind. And they don't understand properly what is banking, what is insurance, what is leasing. So if you need some more time, design this way so that you can talk with farmers using their talk. You can give them more time. For an engineer from Buet, you don't need to provide that much time. So you see that you cannot handle each and every customers using same approach. And that is a big problem in Bangladesh. Our financial institution offices are delivering same services to each and every customers. They have no time to ask even whether the customer is a farmer, lever, is a garment worker, is working hard to develop the country. So you see, the first point, so important. So when you design training program, workshops and seminars, you must draw the attention of your officers, executives that you must understand the necessity need of different categories of customer. So customize your approach. Don't do the same. Don't deliver the same services to everybody. The second one is so beautiful. Make your customers feel that you understand what they want. So when you can do this, if you go to very nice, beautifully designed, sophisticated, technologically sound, very good private bank, you will find that their staff are smiling. They are offering tea for you. They are asking you, they want to know about you. They want to know your requirements, your, your necessity. Why? Because they want to deliver those services that will make you feel special. So make your customers feel that you understand what they need. It's just like a good doctor. Good doctors listen to the patient. And patients are happy after expressing all pain to the doctor. So you are also a doctor of an organization. You are delivering services. You have to try to 
make your customers feel that you really understand their need. Know that some customers are more interested in the ways you build customer relationships than your products or services. You see that you have to remember that because so many financial institutions all are delivering same products. So how do you create an environment that you are different than them? Your organization is different than them. It's only service. It's only service. So now think about customer relationship. You have to use all your intelligence talents to deal to deliver services to the customers because we're talking about financial institutions and that is the difference between your organization and other organizations products are same profit rate same so why some organizations are better than others is because of their customer services Keep your customers notified about the things they're interested to do business with you. So you have to notify them that yes, some products are new here, some special products for you, some products we have that will satisfy your need. You have to notify your customers. If you don't notify your customers, how do you build relationship? Yes, you know that uh, your customers uh, uh, may not ask for the product, but at least you have to notify your customers that we have some new products. You have to mail them. If possible, you have to call them. Keep your customers notified about the things they're interested to do business with you. I will show you later some examples how some bankers from Chittagong are continuously notifying their customers and they understand all these points. The manager of the bank is continuously spending time to build relationship with customers. And you need to practice, that's why. To say, wow, great, thank you, sorry, you have to practice acknowledging. If you don't know how to say thank you, then just think, how do you deliver services to the customers? If you think you are VIP and customers are taking your services, how, how can you grab the market? For following all these four points, you need to be polite, gentle, soft, kind, generous, courteous. You have to practice your etiquette and manners. Now, we are going to incorporate technology with this. Now it is customer relationship is not only based on these four points. So these four points, these are the basics. You must keep in your mind all these four points. Based on these four points, we are taking the support of technology nowadays. You see that if you search something in Google, if you search some books in Google, then within 24 or 48 hours, you will find that you are receiving the advertisement of some books or some relevant books, relevant to your search words in your Facebook. So what it is, it's customer relationship, but it's a customer relationship management and it's technology driven. They have developed their software so intelligent way that once you search there and they can do a research, the machine can do a research and be able to identify your needs, your necessity, 
your preferences. You see that how smartly machine can identify your preferences, your choices, your need, your necessity, and continuously pushing you through advertisement in your Facebook account. So if you really want to do, if you really want to study in this century, in this 21st century, your customer relationship management is not only human driven activities. You have to incorporate machine technology. You have to take support of technology because thousands and thousands of customers grows millions and billions of customers so you can't keep their information in your mind you can keep their information in your kata okay you can keep in your kata in your documentaries in your documents but when the customer will arrive in front of you and how long will it take to find out customers information from some documents but if you have technology if you have machine in front of you just know the telephone number of the customer click in your machine then you will get all the information and the summary of the customer and it's written there the customer is farmer the customer is a rich farmer the customer is our customer since 2010 it's an old customer valued customer the customer transacts regularly so lots of good information in front of you within second, and you can deal with the customer the same way. So what is customer relationship management? It's a strategy used to learn more about customers' need and behaviors in order to develop stronger relationships with them. And you have started from so many other courses. What is a strategy? A strategy is your action plan. Action plan for what? Action plan for outperforming competitors. So you have taken some action plan. That action plan are different. And that action plan helps you to outperform your competitors. So simply what can we say? CRM is a strategy used to learn more about customers' needs and behaviors in order to develop the stronger relationships with them. Now, we are incorporating technology with this. Without technology, nowadays, customer relationship management is impossible. And especially, you are starting credit management. So you see that who are your customers? Some of them are the owner of thousands and thousands crores of industries, firms. Some of them are highly educated. Some of them are really important for the economy of the country. So you have to deal with them. So without technology, you can't. And that's why nowadays customer relationship management is defined differently. It's any application, application or initiative designed to help an organization optimize interactions with customers, suppliers, or prospects via one or more touch points. So such a call center, salesperson, distributor, store, branch office, wave or email for the purpose of acquiring, retaining or cross-selling customers. So now you see that how important customer relationship management and technology is there because it's an application. It is a software nowadays. It is an it is a it is an app designed in a way that you can interact with your customers. You can interact with your suppliers. You can interact with your prospects. You can interact using mobile. You can interact using email. You can send SMS. 
you can take the help of call center. Salesperson can use this. Distributors, storekeepers, branch officers, managers can use. Customers can interact through organization websites, through email, through SMS. So my dear participants, if you just think customer relationship means the word relationship. So I'll just deliver them services when they will come to my office. I will just discuss with them when they will be available in my office. That is not customer relationship. The customer relationship more than that. It's white. It's beyond what we had before. It's technology driven. It's information driven. It's a software. And also, the root is this. Yes, software will give you all kind of information, but in the end, it is you. You have to speak with your customers. You have to phone them. You have to mail them. So taking the support of technology, you can develop customer relationship. Once you have customer relationship management, obviously you will have so many benefits. So what's the importance of customer relationship management? Obviously, customer relationship management can increase customer service levels, can improve efficiency of call centers. You can deliver proper services to your customers without call centers. So you can take support of third party, that is others call centers, or you can develop your own call centers in your office. You can employ some customer relationship officers, managers there, and they will continuously support your customers. They are professional. If you give them proper training, if you have good technology, if you have good apps, if you have good strategy, this kind of customer relationship management, obviously, will help you to improve efficiency of your call centers, offices, executives. Customer relationship management, how to develop cross-sell products. Cross-sell. Cross-sell means you have a customer for one product, but your relationship is so smart that you can attract them for other products too. Your customer is only looking for current account, your customer is using current account of your bank. And if your customer relationship is really good, you will find that your customer is also using fixed deposit account. That is a good gain for the financial institutions. Even your customers can move to the pension scheme. Your customer will look for property loan. So you say that your customer was only looking for current account services. Now customer is using so many other services of your institution, of your organization, is because customer relationship management. is convinced. Customer relationship can help sales stop close deals quickly. Now financial institutions have sales staff. They're regularly working out of the office. They're visiting factories, companies, enterprises, small, medium enterprises, industries. And why they are continuously visiting all these places because they want to uh, 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 grow the organization's business. But without customer relationship management, it is impossible. Without the help of technology, it is impossible. So this technology, this app, this customer relationship management helps sales staff close deals quickly because they have information about the company, about the factory, about the entrepreneur, about the banking pattern, behavior of the target customer. 
customer relationship can also simplify marketing processes. Nowadays, that is also impossible to uh, develop good marketing policy without customer relationship management, without knowing the taste preferences, choices of customers, without knowing needs and necessity of customers. And what really helps us to understand our customers, that is customer relationship management. If, even your phone can work, your email can work. If you phone your customers, you can exercise your relationship if you have a new product and if you call your customers, customers will be happy. And the financial benefit is increase return on investment. More customers, more happy customers, good customer relationship management means the financial gain too. And what's the financial gain? It will have to increase return on investment because customers are happy, because customers are getting updated information, because customers are customized. You have segmented customers. You have proper segmentation. Your organization is giving priority to each and every customer through a customized way. So for customer relationship management, you need some budget. The budget, budget incorporates project management. So you have uh, 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 a different section of the budget or you can have separate budgets, project management budget, software integration budget, data maintenance, training. You must have some allocation. Good financial institutions, they have budget for project management, software integration, data maintenance, training. You have to keep in your mind. You can't develop customer relationship management without spending. And this spending is not wastage, it's not waste. It's because if you spend one crore, you will get five crore addition. How it works? You see that there are so many points. One, two, three, four, five, six. So each and every points are connected with a central point and central point of CPU, you, what you say, or the server where all the data from different sources are processed and it becomes as output. So all the department data again processed here and become useful data, that data can be used by, again, all these department as per their requirement. So you see that if you have data from human resource management department about recruitment selection, about the staff skills, experiences, that can be used by IT department, accounts department, finance department. So you see that it's integrated. All the customers data from sales points can process here and you can get useful output from the process. And these output again can be used by accounts and finance for handling customers financing can be used by IT department to create a segmentation among these customers who are doctors, who are engineers, who are from Chittagong, who are from Dhaka, who are male, who are female. Who, you see that this process makes everything so simple. This is called customer relationship management infrastructure. You must have this. If you are the owner of a small enterprise, then use simple customer relationship management infrastructure. If you don't have enough money, then use your personal PC. One PC is enough, use some Excel files. So you have to keep in your mind three necessary components of customer relationship management. What are these? One is applications, another one is infrastructure, and third one is transformation. Very important, applications. So you must have very 
sophisticated first time driving applications. If you find some applications are cheap and buy it, that is not a good decision. Keep in your mind what your competitors are using. So you have to select those applications which really process the information that you need. Infrastructure, obviously, if you just buy application, if you have just application, your software can't work. You need infrastructure. You need machine. You need hardware. Transformation, your executive employees are not familiar with the application. So you need to organize some training, workshop, seminar, so that you can train them. And this way you can transform them from analog environment to digital environment. You can make them expert with the new system so that they can handle it very properly.